Hey everybody, Bob Carey here. I want to give you an update on uh, where we stand on things um, that are going on at Moon Valley in the wake of the roof collapse back on August 13th. Uh, first of all, let me summarize uh, what's going on with restoration efforts. The uh, demolition and removal of damaged structures is uh, largely complete now, um, including the removal of our stage. Uh, electricians have come and made the place safe to work as uh, electrical wiring was uh, a part of the damage. Uh, beams affected by the collapse have been uh, temporarily shored up and the north block wall will be uh, temporarily uh, shored up uh, this week. Insurance adjusters are still at work uh, figuring out uh, all the details of coverage uh, we have um, internally documented pretty much all the non-structural personal property losses incurred, which include hundreds of items totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars. Structural engineers are still at work on uh, rebuilding plans. Uh, final on-site inspections are scheduled this week. Um, drawings uh, to be sent to the city for permitting are expected about 10 days after that. Uh, restoration crews are uh, devising plans to deal with uh, more rain uh, expected this week. Um, that's a, no small challenge as uh, we still have a hole about the size of a small apartment in our roof and uh, we can't just throw a tarp over it. We are also in the process of uh, getting bids uh, for the replacement of things like doors, the stage, AVL equipment, reclaimed wood, cabinets, flooring, electrical, uh, removal and replacement of the playground, paint, and drywall. And um, we are working with our insurance adjuster to deal with costs associated with doing church without our building uh, and without uh, some of the equipment that was in it. And so there are lots of moving parts to this. And uh, that's just one reason I am so grateful for another bit of news that I'd like to pass on to you. We have uh, recently hired David Hensick to be our operations director at Moon Valley. Now, David has long been a mainstay volunteer at Moon Valley, but now we're making him a paid staffer and he will be heading up coordination of restoration efforts. And uh, once we're back on our own campus, he will be uh, overseeing all operations going forward. Now we have known for some time that we were going to have to add someone to assume the, the considerable operations responsibilities that come with our building and our technology. And no one is more committed to Moon Valley or more knowledgeable about our building or technology um, than um, David. And so um, hiring him has been on our radar for the better part of a year. And now that we're faced with the added burden of restoration, uh, we've decided to make a move on uh, hiring David. And so please join me in congratulating him. Now, some people have asked, uh, how can I help? Uh, how can I be a part of the restoration? Well, at this point, um, you can support in several ways. Uh, you can pray. Uh, you can encourage us by your continued participation in the life of uh, the Moon Valley Church family. And uh, you can support us financially as well. Uh, we believe that our insurance policy is a good one. And uh, we remain hopeful that the damage will be largely covered. Nevertheless, uh, we don't yet know exactly how much will be covered. The best case scenario is that we're only out our $750 deductible. A generous member of our church family has already volunteered to cover that deductible. Um, it's quite possible uh, cover some of the losses we have experienced. We just don't know yet. And so as a, a designated restoration fund to which people can give toward expenses 
giving to that fund, simply note restoration on your gift to Moon Valley Bible Church. Now, people have also asked, um, how long uh, before we're able to use our building again? And the short answer is, we just don't know. Uh, there are too many variables, too many unknowns right now, but it is reasonable uh, to expect it to be months, not weeks, before we can use our facility again. Now, in the meantime, we will be having uh, services across the street at uh, All Saints Lutheran Church on Saturdays at 5 p.m. In fact, we had our first service at All Saints last Sunday, and uh, it went well. Well, that's about it for the uh, restoration update. Um, thanks for tuning in. We will keep you posted as things unfold.